Hey, hi, Glenn here in the workshop at the gardens. Today is a nice and easy DIY project for you. We are going to take some branches and twigs and make a garden obulus trellis. Hey, let me show you what it looks like. Every little thing you do in the shop, you probably should have a little bit of a plan. You don't have to have a perfect, perfect plan. But what I just wanted to show you is here's what we're going to make. So not going to be quite this perfect because it's going to be a little bit more rustic, kind of like what I like to do, you know, that rustic fun stuff. All right, but we're going to be about four feet tall, about 36 inches at the base, 24 at the top, and then just a little pyramid up there. That's going to be about 18 inches. So that's what it's going to look like. We are going to be using this cool, cool, cool driftwood that happens to be branches and twigs. This came from a wedding four years ago, so I've been hanging on to it in the shop. Finally getting a chance to make this project. Um, you don't have to use driftwood. You can use twigs and branches from your yard. You can pick up anything when they cut a tree down, save some of it. It's just you're looking for random pieces of wood. Let's take a quick look at the fasteners we're going to be using on this project. All right, here we are looking at the fasteners. Now, something to note about when you're making a project like that, like this obulus trellis, is that it's not intended to last forever. So if this lasts 10 years, 15 years in the garden, that would be absolutely wonderful. So with that understanding, we're going to use fasteners that don't have to last forever either. We're going to be using some of these trim screws and actually some sheetrock screws. Now these are going to rust and they're going to wear out, but they're going to last longer than 15 years. And one of the cool things about this is their color. They are black. So when we put this together, you're really not going to see the screws that much and let, like you were using a shiny construction screw. So I have multiple sizes here in the trim screws. I have some two, actually that's an inch and five eighths some two and a half inch and some three inch, just because when we get into different sizes and we start putting different sizes of wood together on here, we're gonna wanna use different screws. Same thing with the sheetrock screws. I have some twos and I also have some two and a halves. I do have a couple of these big timber screws that are black that we might use to secure some of these bigger pieces together, but we'll see how the build goes. All right, I'm gonna load up my tray here with all these screws, and then we're gonna get start building. Now that we have our fasteners ready to go, let's get our branches and twigs ready to go. Now the base we mentioned was gonna be 36 up to 24. I need four outside corner pieces that are gonna be in the four foot range. So I'm gonna set those aside. I've got a couple of those. And then I'm just gonna take the rest of these branches and put them into rough sizes. So like the 36 inch to 40 inch, the 24 to 30, and just get a couple piles so I have the different sizes to work with. All right, let's get after that. All right, we got all of our branches sorted out. Now there's four, eight main pieces that we need. We need the four sides that come up, and then we need the four that come up to the point. So I've kind of picked those out already, the four for the top and the four for the sides. And then we're gonna be using the rest of these to start building the structure. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out two sides. So I'm gonna make two pieces almost looking like a ladder. I'm gonna get those done and then we'll put those together. Oh, another little piece. I'm gonna try not to have any cuts showing. So one of the things that I'll do is I will be trimming some of these on the bottom first. The cut will be down to the ground and then the top, which is pretty cool looking. That's just gonna remain up in the air. So I'm gonna get those cut now. We 
we've got one side laid out. Now something to keep in mind as you're building kind of this rustic twiggy branch structure is that this is not kitchen cabinets. It does not need to be measured out to the 16th to the 32nd. We're talking to the inch or so. So it's a little bit different than some like fine woodworking, but we're getting it kind of approximate and we'll get it tidied up after the fact. So I'm roughly 36 inch wide. I'm roughly 24 at the top. These turned out to be a little, almost five feet instead of four feet. We'll work with it. Now you don't have to have two screw guns, but it does help. We're gonna be using two different screws, which we talked about, and they have different heads on the top. So it's just gonna be easier to go in between the different sizes. And all that we're gonna do is just get it started. into smaller ones. That's where we're going to be using the smaller screws. have the second side laid out and I'm not measuring. I'm just using the one as a template coming across. This is all about getting the feel, not that exact measurement. So we have a nice little sliver. Uh, the feel coming across, you can see it laid out. I added this little extra piece vertically just to make it look a little bit straighter. Two sides are put together. Here's what they look like. Here's one of them. You can start to see the shape. Now, I've got two of the cross pieces because we're going to start assembling the two together. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get one of these screwed on there. And I've already kind of checked them to make sure that they're the right length. Now that's a cool little handy clip for your screw gun. And there it stands up all by itself. All right, I'm gonna spin this real quick. And in the drawing, I showed you the crisscross that I was coming across here. This is where we get our strength and the stability. If we just did square all the way around, there still could be some racking and movement. When we put this piece in there and create a triangle, that's when it starts to tighten up. And by the time we crisscross each one of these, it's gonna be solid. All right, I'm gonna finish getting these cross pieces on. And just as you're, as you're doing it, you can see me kind of tweak and move. I'm just looking at it visually to feel that it's starting to be balanced and square. Because each time we put a piece on, it starts to lock it into its shape. Cross piece.
So the last step that's optional is using some of this wire, they call it tie wire, used for tying together rebar when you're doing concrete. But what's really nice about it is it's very, very malleable, bends really easy, and it'll rust really quick. So I did one, and you can see right there how it just wrapped around nice and easy, and that will rust up and give it a really, really cool look. So I'm gonna do a bunch of that. I'm not gonna do every single joint on there, but I'll do enough so it gives it a cool look. Probably some of the bigger pieces right in here and around the top. We'll get that covered up nice there. And then we should be ready for install. Hopefully we'll get it done before the sun goes down. Woo! Okay, I might have uh, fibbed a little bit when I said I wasn't gonna do every single connection. Just about every single connection. So that's what happens when you let the creative process take over. You start putting a few on, it starts to look good, and then you do a few more so it all wraps together. FYI tip, when you're doing the tie wire, wear gloves, because now I gotta go clean up. So I'm gonna go wash up the hands, clean up, and then we are gonna go install this bad boy in the garden. Woo! There you have it. Garden ovulus trellis made with branches and twigs is in place. Uh, very simple build. Screws, the wires optional. Now you know what to do with all those branches and twigs that fall down in your yard or wherever you find them. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing more fun things like this. Uh, Garden Opulus. This has been a DIY project for you from the workshop at the gardens. Enjoy!